What's up, guys? Welcome back to another episode here of the Minecraft single player series, ladies and gentlemen. Today, <laughs> we're in 1.15, and look at, look at, 1.15 has fixed things! Kind of, I guess. I don't know, this is 1.15.1. Uh, ready? Ready? The animations stop moving when you pause now! They never did in 1.14. <laughs> the animations for torches and stuff would keep moving when the game was paused, but as you saw at the beginning, cinematic, oh my goodness! This base is looking good. <laughs> I'm actually really, really happy with how this turned out. I, I was looking at this area and I was really unimpressed with this. And I did record this, but then I realized it was just kind of like the same thing as the last video where I placed leaves and it was just not, not fun. It wasn't entertaining. So here we are, I'm re-recording it with this actually finished. I love it so much. So what are we going to be working on in this episode with, well, we're in 1.15 now, eventually I'd like to wander out and get bees, but I feel like we aren't in a position yet to be, we're not overpowered yet, we have the gold farm, which is what we're going to be working on in this episode, but we have the gold farm and that's about it, we, we have the, <laughs> just the gold farm, I need to get some villagers over here for us to actually start trading, but we're going to talk about some future plans for this world. Now, before we work on the gold farm a little bit, I want to design up, well, mm, no, I don't want to do that. I want to work on the gold farm. The gold farm is definitely one we need to finish, like, ASAP. <laughs> so, basically, uh, I did a to-do board down here, right here, right here. So, we have three lists. City build around the base. Now, we're going to talk about that one and build a real, and then, okay, no, don't worry about those, those two. <laughs> we're going to worry about the, the city build around the base right now. Uh, I have a fantastic idea, and I built the base to kind of represent it with, I don't want, I don't want that in my inventory right now. <laughs> Whatever. Whatever, man. So, what I want this base to look like is this is where people came to worship. This was a place of worship, you know? You came here to worship whatever god, uh we can base this world off of, I guess. I don't know. The god of something? I don't know. I don't know. I don't touch religion on YouTube. <laughs> religion is a scary thing, man. So, what I want to do is build kind of like an ancient civilization around the base and have it all linked together and have all of our materials in one. So, the one that I want to build right away is kind of a pyramid uh, sugarcane farm. I want to build a sugarcane farm that is in the design of a pyramid. So that's what we're going to be working on in the next couple episodes. But the gold farm for me, oh, one other thing I need to show you that I haven't shown you yet in this world, and this, I'm naming this the 1.15 survival, like I'm changing up the series for every version, uh, just so you guys know what game version we're playing in and that we've actually updated to 1.15. I threw in a little, uh, cactus farm over here. Uh, nothing too advanced, just this. <laughs> And everything gets collected into here. It does very little outputs, but it's getting me enough cactus just to last me for a little while. So whatever. I'm happy with it. The base is turning out really great. Uh, but the gold farm is actually real bad. It is terrible. Now, it works really well for the low-end functionality that we're doing. Oh, another thing I should show you. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> I keep forgetting. I built this forever ago. Forever and ever ago. And it works, but it doesn't work because I never finished it. So this is something we could work on. We do need a constant supply of mob drops. And if this thing works, we can make it work. I guess that's I guess that's how I'm going to try to word that. But if we come down here very dangerously, yeah, it spawns mobs. See you later. <laughs> I have no armor. <laughs> I ain't screwing around with that right now. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so let's kind of teleport over to the gold farm and take a look at it so we can kind of figure out what we're going to be doing today in this episode. So I'll see you over there. Okay. Okay. We're here. We're here at the gold farm. Sorry, I was getting attacked by a ghast. It was terrible. It was a terrible situation, but we're here at the gold farm. And this is, this is it. This is the gold farm. And you can see just how terrible it is. Just how, ugh. <laughs> It's bad. This section was never used. Was never friggin' used. Uh, we can we can work with that. But these are actually really ah! It's not gas proof, and it's so annoying. I built some of it out of wood, and now this thing burns. Die! <sighs> oh my goodness! I hate them. I hate them so much. But I built it out of wood. <laughs> Thank God I didn't build the whole platform out of wood. But Watch this. Bam. 
This is one of my happiest moments of this gold farm, I have to say. Bam. It, uh, it auto farms. <laughs> it auto farms disgustingly well. <laughs> they just walk. And it's designed that they aren't able to kill them. And it's designed that they die. Every time. It is amazing. So, we really do need to spice up this farm, make it look a bit better, and change up just how everything kind of works. Now, I believe these guys can spawn in any light level. I want to do a little more research on zombie pigmen. I know we built one over on NSG, but I want to do a little more research on zombie pigmen before we do anything. I'm going to keep these on just to keep these guys moving. But I'm going to close up this, and I think we're going to put some, di uh, some glass here. Just to cover it up, make it look good. I don't need that as a spawning platform. I just need it as a place for them to walk. And then we're going to close up the center. And I don't know. There's a lot of stuff that I really need to do here and I really want to do here. And finish up the top platform. And then this farm's almost done. But we do need to do an area that actually allows us to kill the zombie pigmen. So obviously when they fall, they die, they drop XP. And that's all golden and dandy. And the one on NSG has a massive flaw of like zombie spawn and it just it has something really bad to it and this farm i'm never really going to afk at the a at the uh this section right here so what i'm thinking about doing is just building a block a thing 30 blocks down and having the xp actually collect at the bottom so we we end up down there and then we can go down there'll be nothing alive unless like a chicken gets down there or whatever we just walk up and get endless amounts of xp come back up shoot them we're good to go all good to go you know what i mean like this is a good farm and it is Right here is actually where things start spawning. We're about to, I, I built this thing before I really did research on the zombie or the zombie pigmen spawning mechanics, but it does work ridiculously well for our purpose in this world. I hate them. I hate them with a passion. <laughs> I will take that though. Thank you. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to, you know, build this <laughs> i'm gonna i'm gonna work on the platform work on getting this finished up and then we'll work on this center section and we'll go from there so give me a little bit of time this might take a minute and then we'll work on kind of the killing area i guess the if how do i word this the area where we get xp yeah that i don't have enough iron to actually make this thing like the one on energy so <laughs> yeah you can fall down a hole I don't want any of you in my face. I hate these things. They are disgusting slime. Okay, see you later. Fully honest with you guys. I'm gonna be fully honest with you guys. This project drained me. <laughs> I've rage quit four times. I've just been angry at this game in general. But we have a working model. I'm just I'm just so done with this game. <laughs> I'm actually genuinely happy that this project's done because it just took forever. Now there's a couple things that I will add uh, later on. I might wear the floor, since we use solid blocks, what I might do is sink in and trap some zombie pigmen and name tag them. So then when I aggro the zombie pigmen, they will remember, but they won't be able to get to me. So they will remember, their memory will be just locked in on me, and then anything else that spawns in will just come toward me until I come up here and have to reset the system. So that's something I might add, but I did make a fun discovery today. And that's that XP is actually capable of going through doors and items. Oh my gosh. Thanks, see you later. XP and items can go through regular wood doors. This is game changing for everything that I do. So I can stand right up against this door I don't have to worry about any damage or anything like that killing me right there. And then I can come over here and get some more. You see this? All I have to do is this. This is it. And then I can come around to the other side and just grab the rest. Now, what I'm curious about. Also curious what a terrible idea that was. Okay, I can't place it on the inside of that block for some reason. So that's where we get our levels from now. <laughs> it's good. It's good to go. I'm happy. I'm happy. I do want to do a little more decorations, and I want to move the setup from down here. Uh, there is a little bit more work, but other than that, I think we're going to end this episode with a time lapse. So anyway, guys, hopefully you guys did enjoy, and if you guys did, be sure to hit the like button. Uh, if you guys are new to the channel, which a lot of you are, thank you. Uh, thank you for checking me out. Thank you for giving me the chance, and hit that subscribe button. Anyway, guys, uh, this has been another... Uh, Minecraft for f for f